Good morning. We're going to start with two deep breaths and a prayer. Lesson 318 In me salvation's means and ends are one. I'm going to I didn't say the prayer. So I'm going to say the prayer for 37 from lesson 317. Father, your way is what I choose today. Where it would lead me, do I choose to go? What what it would have me do, I choose to do. Your way is certain and the end secure. The memory of you awaits me there. And all my sorrows end in your embrace, which you have promised to your son, who thought mistakenly that he had wandered from the sure protection of your loving arms. Thank you, God. Amen. Lesson 318. In me, salvation's means and ends are one. In me, God's holy Son, are reconciled all parts of heaven's plan to save the world. What could conflict when all the parts have but one purpose and one aim? I'm sorry, that's not what could conflict when all the parts have but one purpose and one aim. How could there be a single part that stands alone? How could there be a single part that stands alone or one of more or less importance than the rest? I am the means by which God's Son is saved because salvation's purpose is to find the sinlessness that God has placed in me. I was created as the thing I seek. I am the goal the world is searching for. I am God's Son, His one eternal love. I am salvation's means and end as well. In me, salvation's means and end are one. Let me today, my Father, take the role you offer me in your request that I accept atonement for myself. For thus does what I thereby reckon, for thus does what is thereby reconciled in me become as surely reconciled in you. In other words, putting it very simply, the goal of salvation is what I already am. And the vehicle for bringing about salvation is also what I am. I am what salvation is, and I am the way to get there. Salvation is recognition of oneness. How, then, can there be any single part that stands alone or that is more or less important than the rest? The means of salvation is not in some other part of creation, upon which I am dependent. The wholeness is what it is all about. Therefore, the means of getting there and the there we are getting to must be all the same thing and therefore must be within me. I am the means by which God's Son is saved because salvation's purpose is to find the sinlessness that God has placed in me. The sinlessness is already there in me, placed there by God. So, since the purpose of salvation is finding that sinlessness, I must be the means by which salvation happens. I carry the answer within myself. I absolutely love these next few sentences. To me, if I can allow my disbelief to be suspended for just a moment, just long enough to feel the import of these words, I will get what they are saying. 
I was created as the thing I seek. I am the goal the world is searching for. I am God's son, his one eternal love. I am salvation's means and end as well. I am the thing I seek because I have been it since I was created. I am seeking only for myself with a capital S. And where can I find myself but in me? Capital S. This is a search that is guaranteed to succeed because I already am what I am seeking for. The only reason there appears to be a journey of seeking is because I have forgotten what I already am. There really is nowhere to go. Try repeating to yourself several times, I am the goal the world is searching for. I am the goal the world is searching for. I am the goal the world is searching for. See how it feels? Notice the thoughts that come up in denial of what you are saying. And take a good look at them. Notice what it is you are believing about yourself that keeps you from saying these words and meaning them with all your heart and without reservation. We think we have a disease of sin that we are seeking to cure, a disease of guilt and separation. But the seeking is part of the disease. In fact, there is no disease and only the seeking makes it seem as if there is. If we can for a moment stop presupposing that we are separate, we will simply realize that we are not. Truth will dawn upon us of itself. Relax, you're okay. We have no need but to accept the atonement, to accept our oneness with God, to realize that enlightenment is only a recognition and not a change at all. We do, do not need to change. We need to accept what we have always been. Let me today, my Father, take the role you offer me in your request that I accept atonement for myself. For thus does what is all thereby reconciled in me become as surely reconciled in you. Thank you, God. Amen. I love you. Have a beauty. And that was Alan Watson's writing. Not me. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and take two deep breaths. I love you. Thank you for this time. Have a most beautiful day.